That's strange. This box isn't meant to be here. How can I've Do I don't have my That's strange. How Mel, do you have a minute? What's up, mate? Are you after a dicky in my show, like? God, no! I just wanted to talk to you. Oh, well, that's different. Talk away. I need help. You've noticed as well, have you? Something particular you had in mind? I can't find the Spanish language module for your translation software. Well, it must be in my office somewhere, mate. I always put software somewhere I won't forget it. Where did you put this software? I forget. Thanks. It Talk. Leave Jamie where she is. Why do you call her Jamie? She's a cybernetic woman. Like Cher? Dude, there's a packet here which feels like it might have a DVD in it. Has it been horribly mangled? No, it's perfect. Strange, the male boy must have missed it. Hey look, it's the Spanish language module for your transcription software. Great, although I was secretly hoping it was Holly Does Hoboken. This DVD contains the Spanish language module for Mel's translation software. Hey, isn't it a bit of a waste to use a whole DVD for a relatively small piece of software? This from the man who bought After Earth on DVD and Blu-ray. I only bought the Blu-ray because the DVD player scratched and spat out the DVD. I think it was trying to tell you something. Mel, do you mind if I use your computer? Do you remember the last time I let you use my workstation? When I got back on it, I had replacement cursors, toolbars for everything from the Vienna riding school to the cast of Avenue Q, and a purple gorilla trying to make me laugh. If I want a purple gorilla trying to make me laugh, I'll ask you to put the costume back on again. Your computer looked so boring. If you want to use the computer, just be specific about what you want to process and I'll do it for you. This DVD contains the... Hey Mel, can you install this for me? No, the level design is uninspired, the load times are horrendous, it's horribly misogynistic and the humour is incredibly juvenile. I don't care if you have been waiting 15 years for it to be released, 
You should have waited forever. Oh. Well, can you install the Spanish language module instead? Sure. Okay, done. Do you think this is the SD card Sam wanted us to find? If it isn't, this has been a pretty cruel red herring. The card is jammed in here pretty tight. I can't seem to pull it out. Push, don't pull. All right, all right. Jeez, you sound like Lucy. I always figured she'd be a bossy cow. You're not wrong, bud. She never let up. Let me take my hose off first. Are you sure it's supposed to be that color? What the hell are you doing back there? Aha! I got the card out. You were right. I was supposed to push instead of pull. I'll bet that's a great relief to Lucy. Can we transcribe the second interview now? We can. I'll just queue it up and it'll be transcribed automatically by the software. Cool. Of course, there is a manual tweaking option for fine tuning, but I doubt Sam will need anything that specific. <laughs> that manual tweaking option opens up a world of temptation. Yeah. What's the Spanish for please stop beating me with that rubber hose? This SD card... It won't. This transcription software could have lots of other applications, don't you think? Like what? Subtitles for films and TV? Yeah, but think bigger. You could get it to transcribe football matches, and then you wouldn't have to pay commentators. No, see, it only transcribes what people say. Audio recognition. It can't describe what's happening in the video, you pillock. Even if it could recognise what was happening and somehow describe it, it would just be a dull, monotone voice describing everything in tedious detail. So only slightly better than Jim Buck. Uh, fair point. Is it finished transcribing? No, but it doesn't need any more human intervention. When Sam comes back into the office, the results will be waiting for her. That's all three done now, right? Indeed. Our slave labour is over for the day. It's only an extra hour of work. Only an extra hour? That's more than we've done all month. It's the shirt that previous contest winner Captain Cayman was wearing the day he battled an army of androids sent to destroy the Earth. I'm not sure why the pants are missing. Perhaps they were never recovered. Oh, they were recovered all right. They were just... Let's just say that an army of androids can be scary, even for a superhero. Excuse me. Duh. Did he just call me stupid? He didn't say duh, he's Russian. He said da, it means yes. Don't be so stupid. Do you speak English? Da. See, like a native. Are you here for the auditions as well? Da. Will you stop asking him yes, no questions? Da, I mean yes, sorry. Are you the only contestant here? Aren't there any other superheroes or villains? 
Oh, sure. A skinny woman in red costume around somewhere. He keep going outside to take phone calls. Perhaps she's moonlighting for a taxi company. Have you seen any other superheroes today? One other. Very strange man. He keep looking at me funny. He go for fresh air. Fresh air, huh? Mel, if you were looking for a bit of fresh air, where would you go? Iowa. He say something about the park east of here. You really going to look for him? Why not? It never hurts to check out the competition. Rather you than me. What made you decide to enter the contest? If I win contest, they have to give me green cards so that I can fulfill contractual obligations. Why do you want to leave Russia? I hope to defect. I belong to FSB in Moscow. What position? Do you play in goal? He's not football team. He's no name for KGB. So, why do you want to defect? Then I was senior agent in KGB. During Cold War, I was expected to kill anyone who disagreed with Soviet government. And you didn't want to kill people? Of course I wanted to kill people. How do you think I became senior agent in KGB? So then why leave? It's boring. Nothing left to do. Since Cold War ended, Russian secret service have not much work. Surely Russia must still have enemies. Not many. You are Americans and British keep invading countries and pissing people off. People forget all of shit we used to pull. Do you know any other supervillains? Just because I am Russian means I must be villain. You Americans are always so quick to judge. Actually, I suspect it was the love of killing people when you were in the KGB that tipped him off. He's fair point. So, do you know anyone? I used to date Magma Maiden. Was she hot? In every sense. She melted my heart. That must have been a steamy affair. Da, but we had to stop seeing each other. Why? After a while, her magma core started to melt the ice core of my body whenever she was in close proximity. I had to start wearing this waterproof costume to stop myself melting from inside out. Sounds nasty. Da, after a while I was like walking snow cone. Nobody wants limp superhero. Least of all a fiery redhead. Do you have any real superpowers? Of course. During Cold War, Soviet Union had many secret weapons programs. Soviet scientists were best involved. Well, they didn't manage to successfully brainwash anyone, did they? Not like the Yanks did with MK Ultra. Soviet brains harder to wash. Can you spray out a stream of ice in front of you and then surf along it? Yet, I can spray ice, but cannot surf on it. I have a very poor sense of balance. How come? I got hit in the head a lot when I have a stunt double in Rocky IV. See? I knew it. I wanted to talk Suit yourself. I should go. Then go. I'm not stopping you. She's a very attractive woman. I should hope so, considering how much she's spent on it. You mean she's not all as God made her? Look at that nose. You can still see the chisel marks on the side. Hi, I'm here for the audition. Name? Kyle Kiever. I need your superhero name, not your real name. 
A bloody good superhero you're gonna make. You've only been in the costume five minutes and you've already given your secret identity away. I was going to call myself the perfect patriot. Well, that doesn't seem very appropriate. Your costume is a mess. You'll have to think of something else. Right now? Can I think of a name after I do the audition? Sorry, but the rules are clear. You have to have your superhero name before you go on stage. In the event that you get through to the boot camp, the production company can have your name trademarked by the time you get back off stage. Oh well. In that case, how about... Uncle Sam, what could be more patriotic than that? I'm sorry, but there is already a well-known comic book character with that name. Holy intellectual property infringement. How about Pimp Daddy Patriot? <laughs> you are dressed like a pimp, but I'm afraid we're making a conscious effort to play down the pimp and streetwalker themes this year. Why is that? Channel 7 have ordered a pilot for America's Got Hoes. The Incredible Dr. Farty Pants! You're not taking this seriously, are you? Hey, you try sharing an apartment with the big fella and then tell me it's not an appropriate name. Can I get back to you? Oh sure, I have nothing better to do than sit here all afternoon waiting for you to come. Thanks. That's what we figured. You can't go on stage until you help me complete your application form. Oh, I was just... I have a hole in my pocket and a dollar coin dropped out and rolled onto the stage. If you try to get past me without the correct paperwork again, Guajalote, some other objects from your pants are going to drop out and roll across the floor. I don't really have any reason to go in there. Damn. Okay, you never know when it might come in handy. On the contrary, I know exactly when it comes in handy. I'll take this with me. It might come in handy. You haven't got a date with Sean Young, have you? One hand. If you practiced this philosophy at home, we wouldn't need a plumber on retainer. It does seem like the natural home for toilet paper. Thank God you didn't put it in its other natural home. If I push the handle now, the contents will flush away. So you do know how these things work after all. Since you never flush at home, I assumed you didn't know what was expected of you. It's not blocked, mate. But... I'll keep this simple. If it's not blocked, you don't need a plunger. Okay. I feel like I'm starting a collection. It wouldn't be the first time. At least I won't stumble across it unexpectedly this time.
I can't look at one of these. You'd play. It's not block. Okay. Third time's the charm. I'm not sure that applies to shoving toilet paper into a toilet. How's this for ironic? Using a plunger to clog a toilet. My god, that is ironic. Okay, I've clogged this sucker up good. Now what? You really have to ask? Meh. Knowing you, you probably do. Don't try this at home, kids. No fear of that. Like you need a new way to clog a toilet. Hey there! Oh, uh, excuse me. Hi. Are you here for the auditions? In a manner of speaking, yes. They call me the Bleeding Heart on account of my political activism. My name's Kyle. Just Kyle? That's not a very superheroish name. Well, I was going to be called the Perfect Patriot. But that was before the dye ran in my costume. How did you manage that? You know how everything comes out at 40 degrees with Sudzo Biological? So the advert says. He found several substances which don't. Spermicide, pizza sauce, and ant killer. Under what possible circumstances could you come into contact with all three of those at the same time? I was trying to come up with recipes for new cocktails. You haven't lived until you've tasted a barren malignant transfusion. And you may never live again if you drink the whole thing. I should go. I have an audition to pass. Good luck. <laughs>